Hey, what's going on guys? Wired Gaming back again with some more Generation Zero. And today's just going to be a quick one. Now, what we have got, we've seen some awesome, awesome stuff today on the Generation Zero live stream. The footage that you will see is from that today, so uh, there's no audio to it at the moment. Uh, make sure you head over to their channel and check out the full stream. Today I'm just going to show you a few little snippets, and then I'm going to break it down and we're going to have another video going over a lot of good stuff later on in the week. But this is our first glimpse of the gameplay for the uh, the base building resistance update. And it is looking pretty damn good. So if you're a fan of Generation Zero, subscribe to the channel. we got plenty more to come. We're going to be covering this update like absolute mad on Tuesday. Um, I cannot wait. It's going to be fun. And uh, we're going to get stuck into the uh, the whole base building and, and, and go completely mad. Now, now. We've learned a few really, really awesome things. Unfortunately, we learned one bad thing today. And uh, we're going to start with the bad and just get it out of the way. I know it's bad and people aren't going to like it. But Xbox has been delayed indefinitely. At the moment, there is no set date for when it will be coming. I know on Discord there was a little something posted that it will be on the 11th. But that has now changed. So unfortunately, it will not be coming on the 11th. Which, uh, obviously, very disappointing. And I know that's bad, but it, it will be coming. And But before we continue, as you can see here, we can repair, we can dismantle. It's going to be amazing. Um, but Xbox, you know, it, it'll come. It's better to have a, a delay than a broken update. I would much rather a delay than, than it be completely wrong and everything go horribly wrong. But on PS4... And PC, it is coming on the 4th, which is really, really good. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm pretty sure PS4 and Xbox, and sorry, and PC uh, are happy. Unfortunately, hopefully we'll find out more on Friday for the Xbox, uh, guys. But I'm hoping it won't be too long. Now, as you can see in the background, we can build some pretty awesome things. We've got towers, we've got walls, we've got loads of funky stuff for this wave defense mode. It is looking pretty damn good. Cool. I may repeat myself a couple of times throughout this video because I'm so excited. And you guys should be too. It's going to be amazing. Um, resources. Oh, so low. So little. We don't need much at all to be building, which is really, really cool. US, uh, not US, sorry. Soviet weapons coming with this update. Although the Soviet weapons is a paid DLC, the resistance update is a free update. Now the paid DLC, I reckon it's going to be between three and five pounds sterling, but uh, I don't know what, don't know, don't know, I don't know. Now, um, obviously, it'll be delivered in the same format as it was beforehand. Um, so what they're going to do is pretty much put th three crown weapons in your plunderer and bish bash bosh. Uh, we'll go into that a little bit more detail later on, anyway. But for now, as you can see, we've got a, a, a pillbox. Over there, which uh, Pontus lied to us. He told us that there was no turrets in the game, but he built one. So there's the turrets. Uh, whether they fire or not in the development build that he's playing, I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they will be firing at some point. Whether they're automatic or whether we have to load them with ammo or things like that, obviously yet to be seen. But so far, I am buzzing. I am excited. It is looking pretty damn cool. And if you don't already know, there are three wave modes that we can pick from. Easy, medium, and hard. The rewards will differ depending on the wave mode that you go for. Um, obviously, the higher difficulty, the better the reward. Now, another thing that was noticed, which uh, is very, very cool. A few people noticed it. Uh, it wasn't actually spoke about, though. But experimental consumables. Whether this is going to pass on to like meds and things like that, I don't know. But we did see shock ammo and uranium ammo, which is fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. Now, whether we're going to have to go find them as sort of blueprints before we can use them, or whether we're going to get be able to find them in the open world, I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll find that out, really. Um, I'm excited. It's going to be buzzing. Oh, it's just going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely insane. Now, for the location, as a lot of people were saying, oh, yeah, it's on a new island. Yeah, it's on a new island. To all of you guys, <laughs> it's not on a new island. It is in the forest region uh, on that top sort of mountain up, up the end there. Um, it looks like they've just lobbed the top off and 
place be- base building on there, sort of flattened out the area up there. But it's looking pretty damn good. It is looking very good. So on Tuesday, we're going to be going absolutely mad on that. We'll be streaming that as well over on the Twitch channel. The links to that is down below. If you do want to check out a lot more of the base building like right now, then head over to the Systemic Reactions YouTube and Twitch pages. The descriptions for them are also down below where you can check this full stream out and see Pontus the Madman himself having a load of fun with it. But let's continue. Let's see what else we got. So, as you can see from here, there's quite a few little things that we can do already. Um, there's, there's walls, big walls, little walls, barricades. There's turrets and uh, and pillboxes. Obviously, there, look, there's a turret there. Pontus said there wasn't a turret, but that's a turret right there. And that's a tower. And then we've got repairing items, which I'm assuming is going to be like your crafting bench and things like that. And then that there is lighting. But then down the bottom here is really low on resources, which is really, really cool. I like that it takes... A small amount of resources. Don't want to be using an absolute mad, insane amount. Uh, so I am happy with that. Very happy. I cannot wait. I'm excited. It's going to be on, when is it? Tuesday. So we haven't got long now. We haven't got long at all. Once again, I just said, like I said, I'm going to do a more in-detailed video. Um, but for now, I think the only thing I've found that I don't like is how it is box formation with the building. So everything's on sort of an X and Y axis. So it's it's straight or turned. There's no, um, like, putting it at an angle or anything like that, which is a little bit disappointing. But other than that, I am buzzing. Now, something else that we noticed, I, I've combed through the stream and I can't find it, but it was seen by me and several other people. Experimental consumables. Oh, yeah. Now, we saw uranium ammo and shock ammo. That is fucking cool, man. That is very cool. How this is going to come about, I don't know. Uh, whether there's going to be more variants or not. Uh, but, 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 um, what we do know is it's there. Whether we're going to find it in the open or whether there's going to be a whole host of new um, schematics and things like that that we're going to have to find, I don't know. I really hope so. I hope we have to find a whole load of new stuff because... Uh, I like going for the little runs and it helps you find new things. Obviously, the forest um, region uh, is going to be all updated as well, which, to be fair, I think at the moment, that seems to be like at the back of everyone's mind. No one seems to care about that. One good thing, though, is look at the vast amount of space that we've got to build. Now, if we've got all of these resources, we can build a mad amount of things. We could probably build a giant maze to send these machines through, which is going to be really, really cool. Um... Now, moving on from the sort of building aspect, I will go into it in, in more detail in a separate video in a couple of days. I just want to, like, analyse the whole stream and, and see what else comes out on socials between now and uh, and the weekend. But the GRG glitch is being fixed, unfortunately, with this update. So if you, if you don't know, check out the videos in the channel and use it whilst it's still there. And then also... Obviously, we see the uh, ATWAD, which is the new assault rifle type thing. Um, that will be... All the Soviet weapons are going to be delivered in the same format as the US weapons were. So we'll, we'll buy them. Uh, it should be around the same price, between three, three pound, five pound um, UK, so sterling. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's going to be quite cool. So this is the ATWAD um, here in action. Pontus is using it. Obviously, we've got no sounds. I'm going to keep that. Watch the stream for that because that's all the cool stuff. Um, but it's using 9 by 39 mil ammo. And once again, we're going to start the same way as the US weapons. So in our plunderer, we will receive a three crown of each weapon along with the three crown extended mag. Obviously not for the RPG. And then we will have to go out and find... The rest of them. On stream, Ponus was a lucky boy. He ended up getting a five crown ATWAD um, assault rifle. What a beast. Can't complain at that at all, can you? Now, I'm hoping they, that, you know, they're going to be nice and beefy and uh, and have some, some kick to them. Um, from the looks of it in the stream, the ATWAD uh, doesn't really have, doesn't pack as much of a punch as some of the other assault rifles we've got, but it looks and sounds pretty damn cool. So for today, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to leave that there. I've covered pretty much everything that I could think of that I, I've made some notes on on the stream. Um, but that is going to be it, I believe. 
we're gonna I'm gonna once again dissect the stream like mad. I just wanted to get an update out there for you guys so everybody knows what's going on. And uh, and then I'll dissect and, and we'll we'll go absolutely insane and see what we can come up with. But for today, ladies and gentlemen, I've been wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.